let's go back to uh, your film career a bit. Um, I just uh, look at uh, one of uh, your other short film that you post online, uh, Change. So yeah. from Change to this production, ter- ter- like is Change one of your ve- very earlier uh, short film? Like uh, how is that? Uh, yeah, when, when was yeah. that? And, and compared to this, like it's, uh, may I say, night and day, right? <laughs> it's night and day. No, I went out, Change I did with me and my wife and my friend in uh-huh. one day on the streets in Los Angeles. That mm-hmm. was that was just for fun. Uh, to go out and 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 to make it. So when was it? Yeah, they they don't really compare. Mm-hmm. When was it? Uh, that was in Los Angeles. No, uh, where? When? Sorry, when? Like what time? When, like two years uh, ago? Five? I don't know. Maybe three years ago. Three years maybe ago. Two, three years ago. Yeah. Mm, right. Yeah. So you have been like working real hard, and this is like you. I think like you, uh, like you said, it's an Oscar-worthy uh, short film, and the production value is really showing up on screen. This is take yeah. This is taking a taking a lot of my time to try mm. and get this project off the ground, and mm. and you know it's not the only thing you work on. You you you, you work on a short, and and you and you, I continue to write and continue to do other projects, and I. You know, I was working with the Coen Brothers as a stuntman, and mm. you know, so you have to wear many hats as an independent filmmaker. I feel, and mm. and uh, so so while I was working on this film, I was working on other things as well. Mm-hmm. Right, and I think this is a perfect segue to talk about financing process. So, talk to us a bit about the financing process of this film. Sure. Like, how do you put all the pieces together? I guess for the for the benefit of uh, uh, up and coming filmmakers or aspiring sure. filmmakers. Sure. What we did it may have. I think it's been done before, but we didn't have anybody that we uh, necessarily were able to use as a guide. But me and my producers created an LLC corporation. Mm -hmm. And then we, we brought on a 501 C three nonprofit organization as our underwriter. And that underwriter was IFP, which is uh, an organization down here in the States called independent feature project. Mm -hmm. And one of their missions is to underwrite projects like this. So, and collect. So, sorry, Eric, uh, I missed. Uh, so, like, there was a there was a time gap there. Uh, sure. The transmission. Can you say say that again? So, yeah. So uh, the, the organization is Independent Feature Project IFP, mm. and they are a nonprofit. Yes. And they became our underwriter, so mm. we could go out and ask for donations, and people would make a donation oh. to our underwriter. Mm-hmm. And then they, we had an agreement with IFP mm-hmm. to go and produce a film, mm-hmm. and so that way people could make tax deductible donations mm-hmm. to help us produce the film. Right. So, did you talk to corporations or friends and families? Like, uh, like, yeah, everyone. Yes, Every- <laughs> everyone. And, and and one of the things that was very important on the very beginning was to make sure that we had backing from organizations like Right to Play and mm. War Child and several other organizations that legitimized our project and mm. what we were doing mm. so uh, so that people would feel more uh, comfortable giving donations. Mm-hmm. I have yeah, mosquitoes flies. flying around. <laughs> <laughs> Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have the garage door open. Mm. You can see my tools in the background. Yes, uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I mean, it has been a long journey, right? You have been how many years have you been working in the film industry? Well, I yeah, I wrote this screen play as an experiment, and uh, and from the time we decided to make this as a nonprofit film, it was probably two two to two and a half years to make this happen. Mm-hmm. Two to two and a half years. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. a long process, yeah. But, it's a very long process. <laughs> but it it, it showed up on screen really well, and uh, I really enjoyed the film. So, I'm, I hope the I hope the audience enjoys it. I I think um, we put everything into it. And we really wanted to make a film that that people would. I think it's important that first we entertain people, mm-hmm. and then we in, and then we inform people. So mm-hmm. I hope that people go and enjoy it and are taken away, um, but are also informed. When they leave, mm-hmm. right. So, in closing, let me ask uh, you a few more questions. So, sure. in this uh, process of making this film, what 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 are 
a few of the key things that you learn that uh, before you start you didn't realize. Oh, okay. So, or, or I guess more tr uh, tricky problems that you had to deal with, and and some um, other people may benefit. Um, oh, that's difficult um, because everything seemed difficult. I didn't know it would take this long mm -hmm. to do this. Um, I think what I value more than anything is you have to be truly passionate about what you're doing mm -hmm. and you have to believe in the people that are around yourself with people who are more capable than you are. Mm. And if you give them that opportunity, they will, they will, they will over deliver. They will make things that you never imagined. I mean, you, you maybe saw a tank in the movie you uh, know, in the yeah. background. Oh yeah. Yeah. That was a surprise. I had no idea that they were going to make a tank. Oh, they oh, um, they made it. <laughs> they made it. That's made out of styrofoam. Wow. Mm. Yeah. And and so really, I don't know if I can tell you that there was anything that was, oh, my gosh, I would never do it like that again, because mm. I feel like uh, that's what that process was. Um, you know, maybe in specific situations, I would choose A rather than B, than B, but I really don't have any regrets with how, how it sort of how it came out. Mm -hmm. uh, I think really what I was reinforced in me was believing in the people that are around you mm -hmm. more than they believe in themselves. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, thank you very much, Eric. I looking for, uh, I look forward to uh, watching your film uh, on a big uh, screen. Uh, and like, I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it because I'm, I'm like, I'm uh, halfway through the film. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Thanks I to the press minutes. screening uh, clip that you show me. Now, now, like I have to be there. <laughs> Good, I can't wait to meet you. Yeah, likewise. So have a great trip uh, coming to Calgary, and uh, thanks a lot for checking with me, chatting with Thank me tonight. You. Thank you very much.